Asher Kedishana Ba Mitzvah Tav Hatzivanu Lahabak Ner Shel Chanaka Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Sheyasa Nisim Lavotenu Bayamin Ha'chem Ba'azman Ha'zeh Hi, I'm Lizzie Savetsky, and I am honored to be lighting on the seventh night of Hanukkah with the IDF. The Israeli soldiers are our heroes, and they truly light up our world. They protect and safeguard Israel for the Jews there, but also for the Jews all over the world, because the Jewish people would have no future if it were not for Israel. So thank you for all you do, for sacrificing your time, your energy, your life with your families to protect us all. We love you. Happy Hanukkah. Now you will get to see one of Israel's lone soldiers, Eden, talk about how her unit defends and protects Israel from incoming threats in Operation Guardian of the Walls. Happy Hanukkah. Something you might not know is that the soldiers of the Artillery Corps play a variety of roles. They fire missiles at targets, they fly unmanned aerial vehicles, collect meteorological information, and use equipment to help them determine the exact point of origin of missiles fired at Israel. We spent a day with the soldiers of the 611th Battalion in southern Israel during a drill so we could meet the people behind this technology. Technology that saves lives. My name is Alon. I'm a company commander in the 611 Battalion. Our mission is to detect the launching points of the mortar and rockets fired towards Israel. We are spread all around the country, all around the Israeli border, and we protect the Israeli citizens 360 degrees around. The combat fighters in my company, they detect the rockets and the mortars that are fired towards Israel, and they can tell the exact point, launching point of this mortar or rocket and they can combine the different army forces to attack the same point. My soldiers are also trained to operate a different system, a meteorological system that provides meteorological data that accurates the shells and the rockets fired by our forces. So these two systems together uh, give a dramatically better result of the hits during the combat and it affects the combat and at the same time saves lives. The soldiers in my company are combined from male and female combat fighters. They come from all around the country. I have soldiers that come from overseas and are lone soldiers. I'm very proud of their teamwork. They have to work together as a team to accomplish the mission. One of the soldiers on Captain Alon's team is Corporal Eden. She's a lone soldier from Los Angeles. Hi, my name is Eden. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm serving in the 611 Battalion. I chose to come to Israel to serve as a lone soldier because I felt that it is my duty as well as other Israelis that live in Israel because I care so much for the land and I feel that this land is my home as well. Our job is to detect any incoming threats to Israel in order to protect our citizens. Um, we can see anything in the sky, on the roads, and we're able to figure out what it is based off of a certain list of information that we're given. My job is to manage the computer, to see if there are rockets, anything in the air, to make sure that it's all clear in our land. Um, I also have to know how to work every piece of the machinery to make sure that there's nothing wrong with any of the aspects of it, to make sure that everything's working properly so that we don't miss anything. So we slept here last night in the cold and then we had to open our machinery, get everything working, get the electricity working, get the computers working, make sure the antenna is facing the right way. Um, we really have to imagine that we're in a situation of urgency. There are rockets flying over us, there are missiles coming in, they're all over Israel. And so we need to be able to handle that situation in the sharpest shape possible so that we can act accordingly when the time comes. During Operation Guardian of the Walls, this unit worked 24-7 in the effort to track thousands of missiles launched towards Israel. For Guardian of the Walls, we were in the middle of a training exercise and we were relocated to be on Gaza. We had very little hours of sleep. We hadn't showered in a very long time or eaten food in a very long time, only canned tuna. And it was very bonding because we always had to support one another. We always had to help lift each other up because 
one day one person is more tired than the other. We would take turns watching the computers and helping aim the other battalions of the artillery unit. Um, we work together with many different units that help neutralize whatever threats are coming into Israel. So we were in charge of locating those threats. Knowing I was saving lives was something that I never thought I would imagine ever. Um, I don't even think it was something that I was able to process in the moment. In the moment there was so much happening and uh, we were doing so many different things that I just, you don't even realize. And then you take a step back and um, it's just wow.